Beautiful.
Oh. Did I lower oh, the okay. setting by accident? The audio setting by accident? Yes, yes, I did. Not on 96, it's on 64. Uh, hello. Hi, everyone. Hi, hey, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, that's a great way today to is another Love dev it. stream, another day, another productive stream. <laughs> and <laughs> yes, uh, today we are giving Polly ropes. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm. I'm kidding. We're making ropes, but uh, yeah, yeah, ropes to sit on, I suppose. Uh -huh, yeah. You know, like <laughs> like the birds usually do, especially pigeons. You just <laughs> hang on yeah. ropes. Sorry, I'm, I'm scratching my eyes, guys. I'm, 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 I'm a little bit more tired than usual, mostly because uh, I woke up too early, and it's late. <laughs> uh, it's one of those days where you just wake up in the very early morning for some reason. I don't know why. Anyway, um. We have an improved tracking set on my avatar today, so you guys get to see my eyes dart around and maybe a, maybe uh, see me uh, a bit more livelier. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so today we are going to be working on what? What are we working on today? Uh, ropes, right? <laughs> We're going to be making ropes, adding ropes. In fact, that's the very first. Not not the very first thing, but close enough. <laughs> we got a couple of ropes to work on. It's gonna be fun. Maybe we're gonna add a couple of things uh, to a couple of places. We shall see how fast we shall do this. Uh, ropes is an interesting little yeah. thing. Or yeah, let's see if it goes like last time. <laughs> <laughs> We shall see if ropes is going to be either easy or somehow hellishly hard. Um, <laughs> it makes it interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Now, if Steam would just cooperate and actually start me on online mode, please. Red try connect. Red try connection. Steam, I need to access Blender to actually work. Steam, please. Guys, go pander at Steam. Go, 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 go. You cannot try offline. Yeah, but then I would. It wouldn't track my stats when I work on it. Uh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Hello there, Celestian. Hello, hello everyone. I just came on here. Hello, and okay, <laughs> there we go. Blender can now be opened. Huzzah. <laughs> so we'll start off with a nice little playlist of fetched hair and then we'll just continue on having a, a playlist I have in the background for the stream specifically, mostly for work. <laughs> and it's the tracks I listen to anyway when I work. I'll go look over here. Uh, which is weird that I'm actually looking over at the chat. And uh, if you're wondering why my Blender is connected to Steam, it's because Blender gets automatically updated through Steam. So it makes it much more easier for me and everyone else involved. Very fun. <laughs> All right. So, uh, first. We're going to work on Ferris first, uh, the ropes in Ferris. Yes. Uh, yeah, the ropes are in the Ferris. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So, Ferris, we're going to go to Ferris today. Page parts, page props. Gonna add a new. This is what it looks like right now, folks. If you guys don't see it. We have an incredibly slow camera. It's just gonna increase speed. Increase speed. Too much speed. Too much speed. Okay. Wonderful. <laughs> <There we go. laughs> 
turn on our stage geometry and this is what we're going to work on the ropes that we are going to work on is these little hooks on the page and top it should be added and we haven't added any of those mm -hmm. yet. So, oh yeah, yeah it's down there Technically, where there's the it's little rope. there but it's not done in blender and we're switching it up to being done in blender instead those two aren't i didn't realize that the those at the pins were also not in blender i mean the ropes are in the ropes are are in unity but not in blender but these are in okay. blender it's gonna be a little bit easy thanks to the fact that uh really obvious set the origin points for each of these pins at the center exactly mm -hmm. you can see uh i'm gonna go turn up since we have this since we just revamped a bit of our workflow i could turn off the parts where i don't need ropes Okay, maybe I do need ropes there. Uh, yeah, there's a few, even down there, a lot of things on there. Like yeah. these, these you see close to you are like very basic ropes. They don't have any particular shape. Just, just hanging. <laughs> okay. All right. And then over here, we could also turn off the part. Uh, okay, I think we are ready to work on some ropes. I'm gonna go make a new uh, new part over here. At created stage box. Created, and we're gonna create a new collection over here. I'm gonna name this ropes. Because we always could use some ropes. Ropes are nice. Ropes are hey. one of the building foundations of the earth. Society, <laughs> of yeah. Human civilization. There you go. <laughs> Society, yes. Yeah, and truly. We are... have internet ropes, so. Imagine if this was implemented with ray tracing. That would be sick. Or would this completely destroy the game's art style? <laughs> um Honestly? Honestly, ray tracing could be useful, uh, but like very subtly so, you know? Like, for instance, the other day I saw how ray traced uh, occlusion, uh, ambient occlusion looks like. And it's wonderful because it's, it actually looks diffuse of, a, of an effect. But it doesn't seem very doable in, uh, in an engine that doesn't that you use ray tracing, so. Oh. But yeah, I, I, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Though I have no clue how ropes will look nicer with ray tracing. Unless you make them super shiny and reflective. Do reflective okay. ropes exist? Is there any ma reflective material that can be like stretched and twisted? Mm, reflective material? No, I don't think so. Yeah, because there's transparent sort of uh, like plastic, but it, with how the game works, haptic, I don't think right now we could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you, Fables. Thank you for the five bits. You're adorable and amazing. <laughs> yeah. Wonderful. Oh, okay. Okay. The, the, oh, they just meant reducing in general. I, I didn't. I thought they meant for the ropes. Ah. Huh. Uh, for retracing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it would be very funny problem. to have only 
that thing retraced. Yeah. It would be very fun. Snap to. Oh. Oh no. Okay. Might be doing this a long way. Okay. Select the first point. Move selection to cursor. Move. Cursor to selected. Move selection to cursor. <laughs> Fun. Through that. Selection to selected. Selection to cursor. Interesting. Oh. And so points we're gonna clear okay, take here. Okay, I'll handle. And then we're gonna subdivide this. Now we got this middle point over here. Oh. Hey, <laughs> thank you, Farisen, for the sub. Waiting forever, but here for the 25th. My goodness. Huh? Why do we not have a point on where it? Oh. 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 I didn't. I selected the wrong point. This. Oh one no. There we go. I mean, it looks wrong. Huh? Is it actually wrong of a point? Yeah, I selected the wrong point and moved the wrong point. Oh. And now we could just subdivide this. Move this down. Right now it looks wrong though. I have to. Or I could be lazy. That. Ah, yeah. There we go. I mean, being lazy doesn't mean it's not being productive, okay? But <laughs> being efficient. Um, yep. And this looks about perfect. Mm -hmm. Now we just need to change up the resolution. I recall somebody once told me that. The physics of ropes is actually extremely complex. Yes, it would be. They, they, they're not parabolic or linear. They just have a very spe specific shape that's hard to replicate mathematically. Oh. Yeah. I don't know how big the rope should be. For the speed. Amen. Uh, how thick should be the ropes? Resolution. It's going to notice that. I need to be a nicely detailed, but not too high poly as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, take us the ropes. 
Also, hi, Vada. Oh, Vada's here? Hello, Vada. Yes. yes. Lazily productive, yes. Okay. Honestly, not. It's one of the best qualities uh, qualities that a death can have. Being both lazy and productive at the same time. <laughs> no, because otherwise you just never finish a project if you're just productive or just lazy. That is true. That is very true. Oh, wait. Uh, technically, you could still finish a project if you're productive. But yeah, it just takes a longer amount of time. But if you're lazy, then you'll probably never get there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm, I, I will, we will eventually finish fetch. Uh, but it will have taken probably close to a decade to me. So that's that's not I'll something advisable. <laughs> Multi eating feet, so that way, guys. <laughs> oh. Okay, uh, is this rope good? Yep. Uh, maybe subdivide it a little bit more. Uh, Are you talking about lengthwise or side? No, no, uh, yeah, from this view. Like, I guess. Uh, doesn't really make much of a difference, honestly. Yeah, this is the last one. The last one. It's the new one. Yeah, you can. Oh, it's oh, it's written, it's written there. Oh yeah, I guess like ten. Ten? Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> that's you know, it's free on the performance. I don't <laughs> care. Hey. Especially now that there's the better occlusion. The only thing that matters is the amount of objects. If everything was a single object, the performance will skyrocket. Okay. Even if even if it's like a million verses. Hmm. Okay. Let's put it at nine. Let's put it at safe nine. It's, I think ten is way too much not, not noticeable anymore. But yeah, there. Yeah. Nine, nine is good. Yeah. Right that to mesh. I always wonder if there's a way to export from Blender uh, without having to convert the zero curves or like automatically merge objects, stuff like that. It yeah. would be very convenient. Like it would make things easier. Yes, it would make things easier. Too bad it's not exactly. Like, like if there was an option to uh, automatically convert uh, a collection into a single object. Oh, yeah. Well, I wonder if, you know what, maybe some days we'll just check if someone made a plugin like that. Well, that would be very especially, nice to have. Especially like exporting towards FPX, because I feel like it's not hard to do such an operation while exporting. Movie editing, zero. What did I use on this? Okay, same one. All right. That is one rope done. And plenty more to go. Like this one. So we're gonna do the same thing. Same thing, but more. Mm -hmm. Same thing, but more. I mean, unless you want to be super accurate and actually have the center point uh, move back a bit as it goes up. But that would be a bit crazy to do. Yes. I wish I was like an object snap.
Sorry about that. Alright. Good. A curve. Let's see. Uh, Try to snap on that. Work. That doesn't work. Oh. Only works the rough area. Oh. Hmm. Well, I tried. <laughs> I guess there's no other good method no. except the manual way, unless I just not pay attention to some detail, but I won't get into that. This is much more better. Well, let's make one for each that's re relatively close to each. Being efficient here or not being perfect. Just good enough. Yeah, good enough like Buddha cheese. And now we could snap them all. Selected. There we go. Beautiful. Just now noticing, I, I forgot to reply to a message. The ropes are just for decoration, right? Or a mechanic? Uh, they're for decoration, yes. These ropes are for decoration. Yes. We, can, we can't rule out uh, ropes as a mechanic yet. Especially since fetch tends to jump a lot. Tight rope walking fetch when? <laughs> uh that's that's a fairly decent proposition, you know. <laughs> it is going up a mountain. No, it would be it would be funny if uh, doing that thing like in the last zone. That will definitely not be a safety hazard. That face when you move the wrong thing. Oh, here we go. Not too bad. <gasps> oh, I see what I'm doing wrong. I keep the last one selected. That's my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here we go. Also, this just reminded me. Uh, uh, in the... No, actually, never mind. I'm just going to check from Unity directly before asking you. Mm -hmm. So, I, I, you know, I can... For, for those who follow, I, I have Unity open. I can check the... The model is under Unity as well. Uh, I just want to see when we enable everything.
I just want to see if the... I forgot the name of the things. If the... What's the name of the, all those wooden things? How would you call them? Wooden things? This? Yes. The ones you're... Uh... Wooden yeah. sticks, I think? I yeah, the, the sticks. Sticks. Okay, yeah, I see that the sticks above are all merged into a single object, but the sticks below are not. Not, not, not yet, at least. So right now, it's basically a version of the non-merged version. We have a verged version over here, which... Oh, okay, great. Yeah. yeah, so like, uh, right over here. Let's turn this off. Mm -hmm. There they are. Actually, yeah, it's the same in Unity. I just... I actually mixed up mixed it up with something else. <laughs> and yeah, it's the it's the long sticks at the start of the quarry. Those are individual objects. Right now. Upset by one. There we go. That look. Show nine. And depth should be around zero point four ish. Yeah, point one eight. Beautiful. I like it. Mm -hmm. Time for more ropes. Yes, time for more ropes. I wasn't kidding when we said, look, Pawi, ropes. We're, we're gonna have a lot of ropes, right? <laughs> okay, half the cars ask, oh, what di uh, diameter is the, uh, what diameter is the ropes are you implementing with? Okay, what's the size of the ropes? 0 0.18. That the sounds really <laughs> I think we have no specific rule on the size. It's just that this size looks best. With the art style of the game. Actually, this is a somewhat important thing. Uh, a lot of the game, uh, like a lot of design, like in level design, especially with props, a lot of the work is about figuring out what size uh, looks best. Because there's a thing that fetch goes really fast, so things have to be big, but things also should be at the reach of fetch, otherwise it looks like a super small being and so even making ropes becomes quite complex at some point mm -hmm. because we need to make sure that you can see them from afar but they don't look half the size of fetch either that's so lovely farison got 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 the reference <laughs> It's a it's a specific moment in Half Life where there's a scientist who tried to uh, grab a barnacle tongue, which is like you know those things that pull you up and eat you. Oh yeah. On the head. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it, the scientist goes like, uh, "Ropes, oh, look, Gordon, ropes. We could use this to help you. Help me, Gordon." <laughs> Just yeah, that, that, I, that was familiar, but I forgot which part of the game was it. Like, I, I knew I already... I think it was like... Somehow, I already knew of that. I didn't know why. I think it's part of the... Uh... Tutorial? No, it, it was like during when the elevator fell. The elevator fell and then like, uh, he tried to climb up, I think. 
I don't know. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna turn off these rope pins. Actually, we could turn off the rails now over here. Don't need that anymore. We got that all set up. I mean, now you could just see it's just floating ropes at the moment. And then if we just turn on the uh, the merged version of these rails, so there we go. We're back to where we were. This is now just all in one object. Oh, good. Um, okay, time for this rope pins on the sky. I've actually said, oh, yes, I did. I did. Amazing. I'm so glad I kept this. Otherwise, this would have been help, but yes. Mm. Have to select it. There we go. We got our first rope pin. Nice. Uh, let me just stretch a little bit. Uh, uh, keep your backs nice and comfy. Don't be a shrimp, guys. <laughs> okay, don't, 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 yes, don't, <laughs> don't lean over and break your back and all of that. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right about that, Carson. It's actually a really effective hidden tutorial. I think about it. Go to the ropes again. Are we going to add the lamps on these? Uh... What do you mean? Like on the on the props file? On, on the ropes. Yeah, they... yeah it, honestly it makes sense to add the lamps directly into this file. Like directly direct in vendor. Focus on adding all the ropes first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Honestly, yeah. Just Maybe we can consider that, I don't know, maybe another day. Okay. That's because they're they are already set up, and I should build the game today. So, resetting the collision for the lamps would be bizarre. Okay. Fair enough, fair enough. But not snapping on there. Okay, that's good. That's a rope. That's a very straight rope. Snapping on to the point I want. But it's locked in the Z axis. But is it locked in the Z axis? Uh, first sir, and then we're gonna go and start wiring like wiring these like Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. And how does the ropes work in here? Do they connect from zigzag? Interesting to have just one perfectly straight rope and and just leave it there with no explanation. 
Just sound perfectly straight. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, for a second. Anyway, uh, then again, they're in space. But what if they turn off the gravity in the, in the Death Star? Uh, okay. So, uh, how is the ropes layered out here? So, like, is it just one side to another? I don't remember. Uh, I'm not sure. You're not sure? I'll better boot up the game. <laughs> okay, no. We'll be fine, Seth. I don't remember if he had a zigzag or not. I might still have the concept, so we'll see. Hmm. <clears throat> My God, boys, don't die on me. <laughs> Poor boys. You know, I don't have the reference file for these. I will find it. Uh... We have this already like made during the demo, though. Actually, I actually don't remember what it was for the... Like, I, I, did, I didn't hear the, the word before. If... Do we have the reference for the ropes? Oh, sorry about yeah. the... Uh, I did... Because I don't know if we're supposed to, like, zigzag these or... We're just gonna put one point to the other. I don't know. It there's the same number of points in one and the other. I mean, like, okay. Uh, let, me, let me let me let like me let me take a screenshot directly from the game. Or do we do it like this? Okay. Mm -hmm. I can send here. Like really like they're not perfectly horizontal, but there's the same numbers here. Ah, uh, okay, okay, cool. Cool, cool. I'm going to And... Up to... This little guy over here. Origins, get you. Set up the link. How big that rope is. I should uh, split the ropes on its own collision. Okay. Uh, you don't really collide with a rope. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a bit too small. So that's probably a collision. I think this will be a bit different. Okay. Uh, solution is just one. You won't be seeing them up close. Uh... Question is, how big should the ropes be? 
And this is one of those circumstances if it's going to be bigger or smaller. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's a little too big for the. That's just slightly too big. Uh, 0 0.3? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, this size then. Hmm. I guess, what will I say? I'll see. Yeah, the, the rope that was already there was probably just a tiny bit bigger. So it's the same, yeah. Please, should I make this thicker or just should this fine or it should be this fine already? Uh, maybe 32, but yeah, it's fine like this. 32. Yeah, 32. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's bring in some good music in the background. Stream safe, of course. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. So now I don't have to do much. Get this done. Oh, no, lyrics. <laughs> oh, no. What the hanging in the... Oh, I love this song. I just now listen to the stream audio. Uh, <laughs> this is Bruce, it's by Fox Stevenson, yeah? Yes, yes, it is. Yeah, it's... This possibly my favorite artist. Like I, it's hard to tell, but like I've been listening to his music every every year for several years now. <laughs> really? So you're like you're like those artists are like you don't really register them too much, but at some point you notice that you've liked every new song for five years straight. So so you might as well consider them one of your favorite artists. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You see. It's oh, straight again. It's straight. Well, I'm sharing my screen so you can see it in real time. Ah! <laughs> oh. Okay, where where did this come from? Why? Why am I starting to get oh. sick just now? No. <laughs> oh. Goodness me. Okay, so uh, put them hanging there, connected to creatures. That way you can trick people and people to get outside. Hmm. Yes. What lyrics? Yes, this is our development. Watcher. What? Uh, Carval Space Program. Oh, what's the similarity between this and Carval Space Program? But this is game development also for the game that on. Uh, uh, also. Game development for the game that is on the category. So you do count on this. Huh. There's a new game development category on Twitch. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's convenient. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of blessings. On Fetch the Ferret. <laughs> well. Yes. Oh, okay. 
That was weird. Thank you guys for the blessings. <laughs> Adding a little bit of variety on the ropes. Look like that. Oh yeah, do the ropes need a secondary UV for them to sway or no? Uh, they actually do, yeah. However, how are we going to... How are we gonna do the labs? Uh, actually, yeah. <laughs> Never mind. It does weigh. <laughs> yeah, there's the there's the thing that if if there's something that weighs and something attached to the thing that weighs, then then there's something that the thing that should weigh will not weigh. That that's the current solution. Good thing I asked. <laughs> oh, that's a nicely date rope. You know, they could, they could always have some unusual uh, shape, you know? I mean, not, not, this, not this way, but yeah, right. Especially since that wherever the wherever T, I forgot the name, lump is attached, if that's where there's the most weight. One more rope. That should be all the ropes for Paris. I say should be, and then I find something. <laughs> that would be very funny. Also painful. When you think you're done and then you find something that you missed. Ignored before I forget. Um, <gasps> and that should be it. That's yeah, that's it for all the ropes in the forest. I don't they think have there's any colors. Any right? needed right now in the quarry. <laughs> right now. There's gonna be a lot of ropes there. I mean here do we have different colors for the ropes here? Uh I just think that in No, not really. They're all white? Yeah. Okay, cool. I mean, effectively, that could change right now. But no, so far they're all white there. Okay. Do... <laughs> Wonderful. Well, they're all selected. Here in the have that's not gonna fly. Uh, uh, 
plants are developing. Now they all have the wood. Hopefully. Yes. Now, uh, I'll be separating these two ropes over here and these two ropes because they're different parts. So I'm going to duplicate them and move them to which area. And then control J, the ones that are gonna. Oh, down there. Rope set one and rope set two. <clears throat> and I'm slowly developing a sickness here. Why? 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 Not right now, though. Oh. I need to look at the video after. Uh... Ouch. Yeah, it was for virality, but. Uh, part two, this is part two, right? Okay. Hope set one is linked to part two. That's form. Hope set two is part. Go. Beautiful. Now we can turn out the stage geometry so it won't, wouldn't conflict with the. Blender trying to pick it up. Here we go. We have our ropes. Things on. Okay. Okay. Lovely. Now uh, I'm gonna commit this. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Guys, I need your blessings. I don't get more sick throughout the night. <laughs> May you get not more sick. Yes, uh, I don't know. Do your spirit ball thingy. Raise your hands. <laughs> Dragon ball. Oh. Nice, nice. Next up. Uh, have a routine. Uh, uh, we're now back in cover routine. Again. <laughs> Thanks for the bless and thanks for the hydrate. Yeah, you don't have any bless uh, thing. You... Yeah, I don't. Can we? No. Yeah. 
fish walks. Whoa, -oh. uh, okay, I lagged for a bit. What, what was that? What that was weird. Did that anything disappear? Okay, uh, so our ropes is aside from these, that's gonna be increased resolution. Wait, no, already increased the resolution of these guys. Uh, I go fly over here. Ah! Why now? Why? Why? Oh. They already made the ropes here. Yeah, the ropes are are, are done. Are great. Yeah, you did them like the day before the. And offer this. Oh, oh, right. Um, yeah. Wow. So yeah, we are actually done with ropes for today. Oh no, wait, no. The the thing about the rope was that it was a little bit too thick for the lamps here. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Let's set up a a lab prop here real quick. The asset browser. The fetch library. Go grab a lamp. The lamp. Have a Kit Kat. This is not an advertisement for the Kit Kat, though. I really like this lamp. Oh, it's it's not in there. That's not the lamp. Well, then again, it's not actually used by stage on the stage design. That's why I didn't have it there. Huh. Guess we're gonna call it. Uh, no, I won't. No, I don't. The lamp. Lamp. Lamp is gonna be all the way over there. Press it to select it. <coughs> yeah. Select a lamp over there, then direction to cursor. You got move lamp there. A bit too thick. Oh, you're right. It is a bit too thick. Huh. Okay. Select our ropes. Alt S to shrink. There we go. Should be good now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, see. I think that's pretty much it, really. Don't have really, we don't really have other ropes here. There we go. Uh, let's check out Trello over here. Test model drone straight down. Done. Yes, I see it live. Let's check. Uh, done. We got a couple of, we had a little bit of time, so we could probably do that cute little flag at the alpha barrier. Yeah, that sounds good enough. Uh -huh. Although I'm gonna do it just only in the base texture, uh, not base texture, uh, no textures yet for now. Oh, yeah. I have to lay out the texture for that. And maybe we could scale down the uh, scaffolding too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe the maybe the flag is easier. Like to have the flag and the color on the the red color. Mm -hmm. 
technically it shares the same texture as the uh Avaratina's stone texture. It just doesn't have the red on it. No relationship lines because that's gonna be fugly and ugly. Alright. So Right now we have this little over here, this fight there because it is the collision box for the enter. We're gonna make this smaller. Yeah, yeah. Actually, do you also have a reference of that? Yeah, I do. Except like I just made it the same thing. Uh oh wait, you could I don't know. Wait. Have you been seeing on the entire time? Yeah, you're seeing my screen one. I'm looking at the reference right now. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, exactly the reference the has to be very rough uh, sizes. Like, drug this tends to make what's reasonable. Uh, but in context of the game, fetch is actually a lot smaller. There we go. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Nice. Yeah, with reference, I meant more like if you had the um, the scaffolding prop as an asset in the Blender. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just yeah, just yeah, to see if the how much bigger it is, like if it's the end. Uh, a lot bigger or reasonably uh just like twice the size well, or something because of the reference i had to size size it up a lot definitely yeah this yeah could be much more reasonable now uh, apply and then something i noticed that kind of is bothering me now is that there's a different color for the top and the bottom i'm gonna do that And this is wood. Turn that off. Uh, with that. Okay. Now we could make that little tiny flag. So right over here, nice. I wouldn't say tiny. From the reference, it looks it's very big. Very, very big. Like you can see, see it from a mile away big. Not sure if you want it that big. <laughs> I mean, the flag being tall is convenient. Like for instance, the the reference for the forgot the name. Like the balloon, the balloon of last month. Like the reference for the balloon ended up being far too small for the game. So we had to scale it up a lot. Sure. Well well like you know the scaffoldings here had to be shrunk down. I'm surprised that we actually ended up clearing most of the ones in my to-do list in this one stream. Which is nice. It's a, it's a lot more faster today. Mm -hmm. 
I think people will notice that I need to double the resolution. And four. Scale. Needs to be thirty two. What I'm gonna, gonna do is get this and just pull it up in the spherical way. Yes, perfect. Cases with this platform. Let's add a cylinder that it was going to notice a cylinder. I was going to notice a cylinder being low poly. That's a truth. Yeah. But then this not really noticeable which shape it is. Yep. You could put a square over there and no one will notice the better as long as it's flat shaded. All right. Okay, there you go. And now we need to add that red flag. Yeah. <laughs> they are cute. You'll see why. Let's see, we just see the editing. In general, but here. Oh, hello, Bob. And happy to hear your home fire song. Have you been watching side? I have a hard time managing to watch a stream while walking or traveling. Okay. Now we got our flag. This doesn't look like a flag, it looks like a pyramid. <laughs> ah, yes. Okay, pyramid. Exactly. Faulty pyramid to signal the existence of the barrier. And now it's a flag. Nice. And I mostly did that to prevent back face culling.
basically the other side you won't be able to see because there isn't any information there. We're trying. Okay, looking at the reference in here. Yes, Chris Rance, we are working on the game. Hmm? It is a game that's free. This is work. Oh, I think that's good. Do you think that would... No, looks pretty fine to me. Maybe to have the flag itself a little bigger, like the little triangle. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking because again, like when I looked at you're it. gonna see it from <laughs> far away, so I think that would do it. Try looking at it from a distance. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, very good in that. Yes. Okay, looks pretty fine to me. I'm gonna merge all three of these. And I'll add the stone. Three materials. Get off the stone. Here, according to the reference, the bottom part be the sandy texture, and this part to be dark wooden part. No, not dark wooden part. Holy, whole color. And this one, I guess I'll just place folder to. Till I find a better place for a texture on that. Huh. Oh, wait. A blue ah. flag in a blue sky. <laughs> <laughs> wrong, wrong texture. I've been looking at the wrong one. We probably need wooden instead. <laughs> a little bit of stone. So that will do for now. Yeah, I like this guy. It's probably going to be kind of invisible, but I like it. Oh, 
Um, also, also, wait, no, I'm, I'm looking at the stream. I'm looking at the. I keep forgetting that if I look at the stream, I'm commenting like several seconds late. Uh -huh, yeah. That is true. That will do for now. Might switch over to the rock texture later. Maybe. I'm gonna need this lab. And I am going to attach this to uh, this part six. And hold it. OP, P transform. There we go. It has the flag. Okay. There we go. That's literally three. I'm going to put this as almost done because I just need to add the red. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, uh, did we have anything else? I don't think so. We are past the full, a full hour. So, sounds like enough stuff. Also, hi, the SSM Docker. Yeah, I remember the name now. Hi, Lucy. Two hydrates and a plus. Okay, I already did the hydrate. And also the bless technically. Uh, that was used as bless for me being sneezy a while ago. And good news, guys. Mm -hmm. My sickness is gone for some reason. We're saving the push and get out. Yeah, the next stream yes. is going to be quite different, I feel. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, not, not completely sure, but it might not be about modeling. We'll see. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we've, that's an hour and 30 minutes. Uh, we continue, or I think that's a good, good time yeah, to... Yeah, I think we're pretty much done, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Amazing. I didn't expect to actually clear, like, three li three things off the list, but yes. Uh... <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, that was a lot easier than I thought. <laughs> no, I was kind of hoping that's not a harder twist. <laughs> yeah. Uh... There's a couple of things that, we... mm -hmm. yeah, I, I'm looking at this like some of these are gonna be very boring to watch, and like I can understand why we actually went with these. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, we're ending early today, Lucy, because we actually did what we we're actually on time. <laughs> we're actually on time this time. Uh. That's good. Anyway, nice. thank you guys for watching. Uh, it's been lovely. Thanks and a lot. Hope, hope you guys have a good night or day or evening. Or we play can. fetch, guys. Play fetch. Remember to mm -hmm. play fetch. Well, I didn't even send any link. Do I even have it? Uh, yes, there we go. Play fetch. All right. I was manually writing it. <laughs> I was um, I was manually writing it too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, actually, that's the wrong Discord link right now. Um, 
Okay, yeah, I can, I can send this oh, link. I actually have this Discord link very simple now. It's just... What? Just this. Hey! We have a good link to the Discord as well. So if you guys want to check out the game that we're making on, and you want to try out the demo, uh, play fetch. Or you could go into itch right now and buy the alpha. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not this coming. Support will go yeah, directly yeah. into making the game. So yeah. anyway, you all see you next care? time. Yes, and tune in for the next stream. The next stream is gonna be a lovely, <laughs> different stream. Yeah, it's gonna be in a few weeks. And if you guys are wondering when I'll be starting to be streaming again, since I'm almostly absent this month uh next month which is tomorrow so i will see you guys on monday yeah. <laughs> all right that's it play fetch guys play fetch take care <laughs> bye bye bye